We're checking out an American hero on the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, everybody. What up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Kerry Jermaine Wooten, and today is a pretty special day. It's July 4th, 2022, and today's the day I turned 48 years young. And I'm doing something a little bit different today. I am going to pay my respects to someone who made a huge impact on my childhood. Me turning 48 today, kind of reflecting back on all the years of life, beautiful childhood. Paying respect to someone that I admired as a kid, young kid, growing up in North Carolina. This man, a great American, played for a team that was considered America's team. We're talking about Mr. Frederick Curley Neal. Curley played for the Harlem Globetrotters. 22 seasons as a Globetrotter, and he wore number 22 the whole time. Just like me, Curley is from North Carolina and moved to Houston, just like me. Another thing in common, Curly's same height as I am, he's 6'1". A little bit lighter than I, than I ever been. He was about 165 when he played. Great shooter, played over 6,000 games, traveling to over 97 countries with the Harlem Globetrotter. What he represented was what we all aspire to be, all aspire to represent in our lives. I dare you to find a picture of Mr. Neal where he's not smiling, where he's not putting a smile on someone else's face. He played with the Trotters from 63 to, if I'm not mistaken, to 1985 was an awesome ball handler and shooter. But he was known for that ball head, just like me. And most of us can only wish to be as eloquent of a human being as he seemed to be. I remember him from Scooby-Doo the Harlem Globetrotters actually had their own animated, their own cartoon at one point. Always smiling. Man, even in the cartoons, <laughs> his character was always smiling. He seemed like a genuine, genuinely great man. I need to find a door that's gonna be open but he was actually awarded an award with the Harlem Globetrotters for humanitarian work alongside all of the other awards that he's received throughout his, his beautiful lifetime. And his number, number 22, was actually retired, just like Metal Lark Lemon, who was another player that stands out. When people talk about the Harlem Globetrotters, we think about Curly, and Metal Lark Lemon. Marcus Haynes, maybe, if you go back that far. Another thing he has in common with me is that he went to Johnson C. Smith University, which I have a brother, one of my brothers, actually went to Johnson C. Smith University. And this is a beautiful, beautiful cemetery here. I think this door is locked. Yeah. Let me 
can see. We're going to I'm gonna try to be quiet here. My voice kind of booms, but I want to be try try to be quiet here and show you guys the grounds on the inside. It's a beautiful place. So Curly actually moved here to Houston where he passed away. There he is, where he lies, Mr. Frederick D. Curly Neal, May 19th, 1942 to March 26th, 2020. He was 77 years old when he passed. Rest in peace to the late, great Harlem Globetrotter, Mr. Curly Neal. I appreciate all of the memories as a child, for sure, man. For sure. Happy 4th of July to everybody. Just wanted to make a quick video. Thanks, guys, for stopping by.